Katonda mulunji. Ekisala chona. I'm so thankful that God has allowed us this time. Though we are very late now. Ndi musani vuti katonda tukiriza ni wakote nga tuli chikeruzi. I believe that uh, within 20 minutes I will speak. Uh, yes, I will try to keep the promise. Yeah. Uh, so uh, our, our senior pastor is not feeling very well. Uh, also I hope our brothers and sisters who are praying for his health. Let's read one scripture. Acts chapter 19. Acts chapter 19 from verse 14 to 16. Acts chapter 19 from verse 14 to 16. If you are there, I'll read. And there were seven sons of one Skiva, a Jew and chief of the priests, which did so. Awaliwo abana msamvu abasukuwa suku sukewa umuyudaya kabona umkulu abakola buwebatiu. And and the evil spirit answered. The evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? Daimon ninedamu ne gamba nti. Yesu mutegera. Ne Paulo Mumani, na yemwe bani. Verse 16. And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. O monte yaliko daimoni, nababukira, nababukira, nabasinga, bonna, nabayinza. No kuduka, nebaduka, okuvamu nyumba, eringa vali, gwere eranga. Verse 13. Then certain of the vagabond Jews exorcists took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preached. Nebe tuli nkirira okuogera erinyali ya mukama wafe yesu. Kuwabo bali na daimoni. Ngabaga ambanti mbalaiza yesu paulo. Guwabo lira. Yeah, so because we were supposed to start from verse 13, that's why I have jumped there. Tuwale tunata nikira kumina satu na ye tuuseo. Yes, yeah, so uh, today I was actually thinking of this scripture. Uh, but then no matter how much I'm thinking of it, uh, except just laughing at uh, those sons of Skiva, uh, no. except laughing at those sons of Skiva, uh, except laughing at the sons of Skiva, uh, yeah. Uh, there's nothing else that was coming to my heart. So even though also I've read it right now, still I don't know what to speak exactly about. So anyways, as I was thinking about this scripture, yeah, uh, there is this one word which uh, came very strongly inside of my heart. Satan, you know, uh, the, the, the demon, of course, is Satan. Uh, who was asking the sons of Skiva. And so, uh, Paul, I know. Also, Jesus, I know. Yeah. But who are you? Yeah, so uh, this, this word came you know, very strongly inside of my heart. Yeah. So Paul I know. Even Jesus I know. So what is this that you know, Satan he knew about Jesus? What is this that Satan he knew about Paul? What is this this that Satan he knew? Yeah, so I was thinking about this very deeply. So as you know, uh, Satan, he can, you know, fake everything 
Yes, Tanya, Jana, chusa, chusa, but then there is one thing which Satan cannot fake. You know, Satan cannot fake the truth. Yeah. Why? Because uh, for our freedom to come, he says we should know the truth. And then this truth sets us free. Yes, so because Satan, he is the master of binding. Yes, Satan doesn't want our freedom. Yeah. That's why yes. uh, he tries to keep us away from the truth. And so because he doesn't you know, want our freedom, yeah. that's why he cannot give us freedom. Meaning he cannot give us the truth. Because Bible says there is no truth in him. And he has this name called, you know, the uh, father of lies. And so, uh, one thing which is not in Satan is there is no truth in him. And so, the one who is on the side of the truth, uh, this person, you know, uh, he's able to, he's able to overcome the works of Satan. Yeah. So, uh, Satan, he have no truth in him. Yes, Why? Because he doesn't des- uh, want our freedom. Then this freedom is freedom from what? Yeah, this freedom is freedom from him. Yeah, as you know, Satan, he came into this world. And then he had all humans you know, bound under sin. Also bound under the fear of the death. Yeah, that's why if there's one thing that the humans fear the most, it is death. And also if there's one thing that humans have failed to overcome, it most, is sin. And so in other words, humans have failed to overcome Satan himself. And so Satan he has bound all the humans in Genesis chapter 3. Inside of sin. And so, uh, but then problem is he has kept us also in ignorance. He has kept the truth away from us. And he has given us not the fake life. Something which appears like truth, but it is not. And uh, it is called, you know, religion. Yes, yeah, so because of this, uh, sometimes, you know, we think that we have Jesus. Uh, sometimes we think that, you know, Many people think, ah, I know Jesus, I have Jesus. And also they call on the name of Jesus. And they find even though they are calling on the name of Jesus, still in their heart there is Satan. Okay, so uh, today, you know, Satan confessed one thing. Jesus, I know. And then Paul also, I know. Then let's think of who Jesus is. And also who Paul is. So who is Jesus? Yes, we are. Who is Paul? Paul we are. Because Jesus Christ, he came to save God's people from their sin. In Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. Jesus Christ, he came to save God's people from their sin. Then who is Paul? Paul is one who was saved by Jesus as well. In other words, this Paul is one who received the truth. And so he became free from Satan. He became free from sin. And so you know, usually, um, usually when when there are, there are those those spots. 
Waba we, sports. Waba we like in boxing. Ngao ibikonde. Yeah. Uh, so in boxing, mubikonde. Sometimes like recently I watch one boxing match. Ah, uh, waliwo uh, when alaba. Jebu vude kona alaba kum umuzani gwe bikonde. These guys they are all tall. Bana abami ngabo mbiba wamvu. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, but then one is my favorite boxer. One is my favorite boxer. Atenga omu kubo gwe nsingo kuwagira. And then I doubted whether he would defeat this person. Actually, he defeated that person in just, you know, two rounds. When you see the guy defeated, no, he's really, he's huge. He's a Cameroonian. So, Cameroon. yeah. so uh, but now, this Cameroonian, on a Cameroon, Recently, he lost his son. He was uh, one year and a half. Yeah, so it was really very sad. And then also, this, uh, this other boxer who defeated him sent him condolent message. Yeah. So, uh, usually, uh, in those kind of matches, like now, if you ask that Bo boxer was defeated, yeah, his name is called Francis. Yeah. So if you ask Francis, <laughs> Francis. he's called Francis Ngano. Francis Ngano. Yeah, not a man too, okay? <laughs> so now, this Francis, if you ask him, now the one who defeated him, his name is called Anthony Joshua. So if you ask Francis, Anthony Joshua, so if you ask Francis, Francis. Anthony Joshua, do you know him? Do you Anthony, know Anthony Joshua? Oh, my Anthony Joshua. Francis will say, Yes, I know Anthony Joshua. <laughs> Francis again, I could have meant, Yeah, Anthony Joshua, money. But that answer, Yes, I know Anthony Joshua. Now, your answer, you want to hear, money, Anthony Joshua. It is not just, Yes, I know Anthony Joshua. The chili went into, Yeah, money. Anthony Joshua. But at the back of that answer, he's the man that gave me the right hand punch. And then before I realized they were putting oxygen in my nose. So inside of that answer, there is those 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 things inside. Yeah, those things he knows. He's the one that knocked me down two. Three times. I was, I was watching the game. I was so surprised that that huge guy was being knocked down. Three times. Yeah. So, when you ask him, Francis, do you Francis? know Anthony Joshua? Yes, I know Anthony Joshua. So when you say, yes, I know Anthony Joshua, he's not just answering. He's remembering. Uh, he's the guy who gave me the right hand punch. And uh, the one who gave me the jab. And then the one who finished me with the hook. <laughs> and so, you know, he fell down like that. Yeah, so, yeah, that, is, that is what will be inside that small statement. Yes, I know Anthony Joshua. Yeah. And so Joshua. when Satan was speaking to the sons of Skiva, Jesus, I know. Yes, we are Paul, I know. Yes, I know. Yes. What do you think Satan was meaning? Do you think he was just saying, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Paul Mumani. What about you? Who are you? Ate mu mwebani. Who are you? Mu mwebani. So, when he was asking, who are you? We are here about anti mwebani. Do you think it's because he doesn't know those sons of Skiva? Olowe zambulu akuba ya ita mani ba anto abo. He knows them. Yari aba mani. He also knows those sons of Skiva. Yari aba mani aba nabas. But why he saying? But who are you? Na iro chia yari about anti mwebani. Because they are nothing to him. Kubanga teba ina chivali jari. Who are you? Is not that he does not know them. He knows them. But he, they are nothing to him. He have them in, the, in his hands like this. But why he called the name Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Paul, Inside of those words, he's remembering. Uh, 
Jesus is the one who defeated me on the cross. And then Paul is the one who believed that Jesus defeated me on the cross. And Paul is the one who accepted that defeat that he is the one who defeated Satan. So Paul is the one who accepted that truth. That the victory of Jesus is also Paul's victory. And so, and so that's why uh, Satan he gave that response. Uh, yeah. So I was thinking, wow. Also, Satan fears me like this. Satan fears me too. Uh, because same same like Paul, I also accepted. Yeah, you also accepted this one no, who is Paul? He's the one who has accepted that Jesus Christ has washed away my sin. The one who has accepted Jesus Christ has washed away my sin. My yeah. And so there are these two kinds of people. Uh, there are these two kinds of people. You know, uh, there are many Christians Today I was uh, I was listening to some to some message. So he's a he's an orthodox priest. Yeah, uh, orthodox. Yeah. So he was saying he began by saying, "Let us pray for Pope." So, uh, I was thinking, why do we want, why does he want to pray for Pope? Then he began to explain. So he was talking about the LGBTQ, that uh, you know, promotion of gays and lesbian marriages. Sex so he was so uncomfortable and he was speaking very passionately. So I was listening to him. Then he said, Ah, let us pray for Pope. But one thing he mentioned, uh, even the Catholics, they say, we have many Christians. Uh, some are Catholics, Catholics some are Anglicans, Anglicans uh, Orthodox, Orthodox, Presbyterians. So we are all one family. We are all same. So even though I'm Orthodox, but uh, uh, my brothers and sisters, they're in Catholic, so I have to pray for So he was speaking in this way. And even he was saying something. Satan, you are defeated. Let us win the world back to Jesus. So I was shaking my head. I was shaking my head. The son of Skiba. <laughs> Son of Skiba. Oh, no, man, was was Skiwa. Yeah, though, though he's speaking passionately, but then in his heart, there is not this line who is he, true Christian, and who is this false Christian? Though the world is full of Christianity. But when you read Matthew chapter 5, we can see the Christianity is divided into two. There is the true Christians and the false Christians. And so who are the true Christians? They are compared to the five wise virgins who carried the oil in their lambs. And who are the false Christians? No, they are compared to the five uh, foolish virgins who did not who carried lamp but they didn't carry the oil in the in, in the lamp. Yes, yes, though the world is full of Christians, but then it's divided into two. So this false one, they will be left behind. Then the truth they will be taken. But then inside of this, you know, this, this, this orthodox priest, you can see there is no this line. Yeah, so, now there are many Christians. But then there are some Christians who are continuously suffering 
with the sin inside of their hearts. Even though they are calling on the name of Jesus, even though they pray in the name of Jesus, even though they come to church, even though they try to live the godly life, even though they do this and that for God, and then continuously they find they are falling under the weight of sin. Continuously, you know, sin is you no know, uh, sin is sin is leaping on them and overcoming them and prevailing them. Yeah, just like you know, the sons of Skiva, they fled out naked. And also wounded. So even though they come to God and they pray, they try to wash away their sin. But they find that they've run away, you know, wounded with the sin inside of their heart. Wounded. You know, there are many Christians who are going through this situation. Living in the condemnation of sin in their hearts. So, but they are devout Christians and they come to church and they are doing everything right. But still in their hearts there is the condemnation of sin. And so these are these Christians who are like the sons of Skiva. You know, who was Skiva? Verse 14 says, and there were seven sons of Skiva, a Jew and chief of the priests. And, yeah, so... No, the skiver also he was a Jew. Uh, no, so Jews, they are, they are believed to be the chosen, chosen nation, isn't it? It's a chief of the priests. Chief. But then, they are unable to overcome the demon. They are unable to overcome the demon. Demon, demon yeah. Though he was a Jew, and then though he was chief of the priests, then, they cannot defeat the demons. In the same way, also there are many Christians. Though they are having also many titles, and also they are Christians. But still, you find that they, are, they cannot overcome the sin, they cannot overcome the demon. Continuously, sin is leaping on them and then holding them and then, uh, you know, defeating them. And they are running away naked. And so Satan continuously despised them. Though they are calling on the name of Jesus, I cast you out in Jesus' name. Satan just laughing. Who are you? Who are you? Because though they are casting out demon in Jesus' name. They try to, you know, to remove sin. Oh, they try to remove sin, but they find they are still living with the sin in their heart. That is the meaning of Satan laughing. Though, though you are trying to wash away your sin, but still you find there is sin in your heart. That is, the, that is called a certain laughing at it. Yeah. Yeah. So, the Jews were not the only ones. But how, you know, Satan was defeated completely. Yeah. When we see these two names that Satan mentioned, but he said, Jesus, I know. And second, he said, Paul, I know. Yeah. So, Jesus, 
Yesu. And so who is this Jesus? Yesu ni yani. Mm. Can you see one scripture? Katulavia cha wandi kwa. Oh, let me find it. Can't you zoom in? Yeah. Luke chapter chapter 4 from verse 18. Luke Luke chapter 4 verse 17. Luke sura ya 10 aka ni 17. Luke 4:17 and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah and when he had opened the book he found the place where it was written verse 18 The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he hath sent me to heal the broken hearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the Lord And so when we see this Luke chapter 2 chapter 4 we to la beno luka ensule yokuna we are able to understand who Jesus is ah tusobola kumanya Yesu yani yeah so he is the one that was anointed by 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 the lord ntio ye yafukibwa kama futa yeah to do what okola chi to preach the gospel to the poor ah kubulira njiri eri abavu and also to heal the broken hearted era and to set to to make free to set liberty no created dembe so in other words mungeri endala he is the one who was anointed to 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 make men free from the bondage of the satan and sin nti mungeri endala ye yateke bateke bo kubanga aletera abantu abantu kuba abedembe okuva mu migugu jabwe and so who is free by jesus is free indeed who is free by jesus is free indeed ero ya Kristo gwa fudo we dembe aba wa dembe so but the one who is trying to be free by themselves na yaba bageza ko kuba be dembe kulwawe you know cannot be free indeed tosobola kuba wa dembe dala cannot be free indeed tosobola kuba wa dembe dala and so those who have been freed by Jesus aba wa Kristo ba fudo be dembe those whose sins have been washed away by Jesus abe onge bibibya bibyana zibwa Yesu Kristo for sure they are free indeed mazima ba dembe dalala can say i am you know righteous i have no sin era basola kama ntin dim to kirivu era sina chibi then but who is apostle paul kati apostle paul yani ah when we see in the book of acts watula mshita wache bikola bya batumi Oh. Acts chapter 9. Ukola ya batume esula ya mwenda. Bas Acts chapter 9 then a verse Bas 15 Acts chapter 9 verse 15. But the Lord said unto him go thy way for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. Na yemu kama wa fena mugamba anti genda kubanga oyo chechibye ekironde jendi okutuwa okutwalanga erinya lyange mu maso gaba mawanga ne bakabaka na bana ba Israeli for I'll show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake kubanga ndimulaga ebigambo bwe biri ebinji ebyo ebimugwanide okubona abonize bwanga so uh, satan saying uh, jesus i know paul i know uh, yes ana gamba anti yesu mumanyi ne paulo mutegera satan fears two people satan ati abantu babiri two people abantu babiri one asokera dalo one who has been set free by jesus oyo an yesu kristo gwa fudo we dembe who is holy oyo mutukire who is holy oyo mutukire and then number two who is saying paul i know ndi paul mmanyi is one who witnesses this truth 
Oyo ajulira uh, amazima gano. Who speaks about this truth? Ero ya yogera kumazima gano. Yeah. And so Paul, he was not speaking to the Gentiles about this thing. Ero ya Paul ya yogera wa eriyaba na mawanga, epe kwa takana nini nitu webiti. So he is scared and is fearful. But the one who has not been set free from sin and the one who is not witnessing this truth who are you who is this person? Why he say so? It's because you are under his grip. The one who is living with sin who is not witnessing this truth this person is under the grip of Satan. But the one who has been freed from sin and is witnessing this truth this person has been loosened from Satan. This is under Satan fears. Amen. I believe that you know, Satan fears us. As we witness this gospel, we preach this gospel, we are going to be scared. It is a joy to see Satan scared. Then you know, when we just fall under the, you know, when we fall (laughs) under the grip of Satan, what joy is there? So when I see uh, how Pastor Park also is moving, you know, uh, many pastors they get they get they get surprised. They, at his age they get surprised. Many pastors who are of his age they get surprised. And also they envy him. Because when they check his schedule, yeah, almost you know, a half of his time is in the air flying to go uh, somewhere. Many men of his age now they are retired. Uh, they are not active. So they have raised their sons to do this, do this. But though he has raised his son, and also many sons, continuously he's moving. Tomorrow he has flown to Europe, to South America, South America, the America. He has come to Africa, Africa, back to Korea. And then he has moved like it. It is 80 years coming to 81 years. But he's moving. Why? Because Satan cannot defeat him. Why? Because he's witnessing this gospel. So, but the one who is not moving for this gospel. Ah, I'm tired. I'm sickly. I'm sickly. I'm sickly. sickly. I'm poor. I don't, I don't have transport. Yet you are young. I don't have this. Yeah. The one who is having these thoughts already is defeated by Satan. Defeated by Satan. And then, no, when we rise up, then when we move regardless of discretion, we are defeated. Uh, so I'm really very thankful. And I believe that you know for sure uh, Satan knows you. <laughs> he knows you. He knows us. Yeah. Uh, Francis, I know. Yeah, Francis Mumani. Because he's the one who believed. That all his sins have been washed clean. And also, he's the one who is witnessing this truth continuously. I know him. That's the guy who punched me in the face. And defeated me. Yes, I believe Satan is speaking like this also about us. Amen. Amen. Let's finish here.